All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom GPT. And if you didn't see yesterday's uh, part one and part two, I'm trying to get you guys some free money and you're missing out like a kid that forgot to get his permission slip filled out for the field trip and he had to stay back in school. So the other day we built this one, this one, this one, and this one, we're going to build another one. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you have GPT-4, the paid version. We're going to go to explore. And this time we're going to go into a niche called emergency response. Now, why? Because this is high ticket. We're going to build a custom GPT for this. So what am I saying, guys? A lot of you guys are selling AI services. Uh, a lot of you guys are trying to sell the custom GPTs. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You don't want to sell the custom GPTs. Everybody on YouTube is telling you to do that. But this is what you can do instead. You keep the assets. OK, if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this high ticket emergency response training and we're going to stuff it into this custom GPT bot that we're building. We're going to click on create a GPT. And you guys can go ahead and follow along. Let me know in the comments below if anybody has showed you this on any of the channels yet to go ahead and charge as a service, not selling the dang on GPT, the custom GPT. All right. Turn this into a service. So we're going to build this. I already named it. This is my document file right here. If you have a short attention span, look, calm your nerves, calm it. You want to stay to the end on this one, because if you copy this, guys, then you'll be able to make a lot of money because some of you guys are selling Facebook ads. Some of you guys are selling uh, SEO. Some of you guys are selling chat bots. Stop, stop selling chat bots. That's so low barrier to entry amateur. All right. You want to give away use as bait what other people are selling. So if you know that other people are selling chatbots, AI chatbots, webbots, and all of that Zapier automation bull crap, use that as like tosses. You know what I'm saying? That is the bait to catch them to sell people what you want to actually sell them that is unique. Create different offers. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and get started. It says, hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products. So check this out. This is going to be super fun. All right. I want to create a custom GPT that uh, all local businesses can train their uh, employees or staff for emergency response training. OK, boom. Here we go. All right. So we're going to cover all aspects of emergency response training. And as you guys can see, the prices of this, what they usually have to pay these companies. Let's check out some of the prices while it's talking over there. We got twenty eight hundred dollars for uh, aviation firefighting, uh, advanced resuscitation. Uh, that's a day's training. That is two ninety nine. This one right here is two days training, advanced first aid, uh, breathing apparatus and, and confined space rescue refresheners. I mean, refreshers, 775. Look at this certificate uh, number three or the third certificate, whatever you want to call it. Emergency response and rescue. We're going to get all of this and we're going to stuff it into this. And a lot of warehouses require you to have hazmat training. Trust me, I used to have a lot of those jobs. So we're going to get all of this and we're going to stuff it in here. All right. So it says, great. I suggest the name uh, uh, that you name this emergency guide expert. Boo, we ain't doing it. <laughs> we want to make a lot of money. So we want to uh, say no. We're going and y'all tell me in the chat if y'all think I should name it something else. You guys should be creating your own, though. Right. Follow along. Follow along. When I look at the retention, this should be like a full all across the board retention because you can make a crap load of money with this. As I just showed you, the prices that people that companies are paying for this training and you can just use this tool to train their staff instead of them doing that. Or you are, you know, even better. You can sell this. Not sell the actual tool itself, but sell the services to, uh, you know, tailored, you know, training for specific industries and stuff to the emergency response trainers. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to name it uh, job doc. OK, that might be lame, but we'll just use that. All right. So while that's doing that, we want to start getting prepared so we can close this out. All right. So what is the first one? Advanced first aid. OK, so we're going to ask chat GPT. Give me everything i need to know to train someone on advanced first aid for the job you see this okay give me all steps and make sure they are current and fact checked oh god we're using chat gpt to do this look so this is GPT-4 doing this right now. 
So it's way more accurate than the old versions and everything. So we're going to copy this when it's done. I don't know why GPT-4 goes slow now. And then we're going to paste it over here. We're going to have a long document. And then we're going to plug it into this tool over here. Okay, so this is what it asked me if I wanted the image to be. No, that's ugly. No, please try again. As y'all can see, I'm having fun with this. Like, it's super simple, y'all. Okay, let's see. Let's see what it comes up next. It's generating profile picture right here, as you can see. So what is ChatGPT coming up with over here? Yeah, this is going well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me get a hashtag. Yes, Lord. In the chat or in the comment section and do a Jeet Kune Do Jet Li style sidekick to the subscription button. If you're new here, if you're not new here, do an unbox Muay Thai Tony Jai style high flying knee kick to the uh, share button and share that in all your entrepreneur groups. So, boom, we got this and we want to just copy this part right here and we're going to paste this over here. Wow. So this is the first aid training. So we want to make sure it is like categorized first. Let me make sure. Advanced first aid training, baby. Yes, Lord. Okay. So now we're going to separate it and we're going to go to the next one. Okay. So it was advanced resuscitation. Okay. So now we're going to tell Chad GPT, same thing. Give me everything I need to know about advanced Resus how you spell it? Resuscitation. Resus. Okay. Uh citation for the job. Boom. All right. So now it's gonna do that too. Yes, Lord. All right. So now we're moving on. This is the next one they came up with. Here's a new profile picture for a job doc, a futuristic style medical kit with sleek lines and neon accents. How does this one look? Do you want further adjustments? Nah, that's fine. Let's continue please boom this is like a freaking uh a uh, 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 drive through like a freaking drive through or or actually a freaking genie like you don't know how to do no code you know you don't know how to do any of that stuff and you're just literally typing in what you want this thing to build no code like ai no code you know uh apps and all of this extra new technology is way jeered than people are giving the credit all right so it says to start could you tell me more about the specific types of emergencies and scenarios the job doc would uh, uh, should focus on to help ensure information provided is relevant and useful. So we got fire emergencies. Okay, so we'll say, okay, fire emergencies. Um, am I spelling emergencies right? Slips and falls. Um, let me see what else. <sighs> so we'll say someone stop breathing, not breathing. Let's say as. How do you spell asthma? I think that's how you spell asthma uh let's see hazmat etc you know what i'm saying like that, all that type of stuff fire emergency slips and falls uh not breathing bone you know hazmat bone breaking broken bones let's say broken bones you know uh those are pretty much a lot of the dang um emergencies that they have okay so right now is coming up with that too so what did this give us okay so we'll take this and replace this right here all right back life support boom so we got that so as you guys can see right now so we're we're chopping down like multiple of these dang on uh, uh trainings right here so <laughs> this is freaking crazy and we're going to program it so where are we going to program it let me show you real quick boom over here this is the back office this is this is like you know where everything is configured at behind the scenes as you can see it says knowledge right there and we're going to upload everything that we're uh uh we're placing on that doc file Right here, you can put video information and scripts and all of that stuff inside there as well. Images that you wanted to read and, and learn so that it'll know. All right, so let me come back over here. Let's see what it acts. Okay, it says, now let's discuss the tone and approach job docs should take. How formal or casual do you want the interactions to be? Also, should job doc use more technical language or keep it simple? Use technical language when asked super technical Uh questions if asked casual questions then that's how you should respond uh deal with people accordingly boom all right so now what do we have aviation firefighting okay so we got that give me everything i need to know to train someone on aviation firefighting this is crazy, right? So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be equipped for all different types of industries, and and uh, um, 
and emergencies and all of that stuff. Boom. All right. So I'm not going to force you guys. Let me pause this and then I'll be done. All right. So as you guys can see, man, we got a crap load of knowledge that we're going to insert into chat GPT, custom GPT part. OK, now watch this, man. We didn't even see the second page. Look at this. Working at heights, road crash rescue, uh, vertical rescue training, working in confined spaces, respond to suppress wildfire. If you guys are an agency owner or or you have a marketing agency or you know anything about that or you planning on starting one, respond to suppress urban fire. You guys know exactly how how profitable this can make you. You make the right connections. Boom. So we're going to go back over here and what we're going to do is we are going to click on the configure tab and this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click on upload files and we're going to find everything. Come on. Where is it at? Where is it at? Everything, everything. There we go. Okay. So now we got the doc file and you can come back if you haven't, you know, gotten everything or something new comes in, you need to update it or everything, then you will just be able to go back in there and edit this. So now, at the end of this, guys, we should be able to ask this this uh, uh, custom GPT tool anything about emergency, um, anything about emergencies, like ever. Like <laughs> this is the encyclopedia of emergency stuff. Now, like we're gonna program all of this stuff in here. You guys can do that too. Copy, cat, copy, cat, copy, cat. Okay, so now it says. Considering the diverse range of emergencies job doc will cover, how should it handle situations or questions that are outside its scope of knowledge or expertise? Should it provide uh, general advice, direct to external resources or something else? It should uh, redirect them to uh, FAQ uh, related to their exact question or redirect them to contact 911 <laughs> boom we still want to give 911 that credit you hear me we don't want to get sued up in this piece okay so boom so now as you can see guys it's programming it's doing everything it needs to do everything everything for some reason it's slow as hell too i don't know why i don't know why uh let me go ahead and bookmark this while it's doing that i can close this one out and we're going we're gonna to ask you some questions. All right. It says, lastly, add a personal touch to job doc. Would you like it to have a friendly and supportive personality or more professional and straightforward demeanor? A mix of all of that. OK, so as you can see over here to the right, it has how do I train my staff for a fire emergency? Can you explain evacuation procedure? What are the key steps in first aid? How should businesses prepare for natural disasters? So you can change all of those questions back here in the configure section right here. Like you can like X this mug out. You hear me? Or you can just like hit right there and reprogram it. It's crazy, right? OK, so now it's set up and ready to help local businesses with emergency response training. Feel free to try out job doc in the playground right now. If you have any refinements or adjustments, just let me know. What would you like to do next? OK, so, guys, this is what you do. If you want to, like, sell this custom GPT, you can do that. But if I were you, I would use it. Find a way to use it as a service. So what you want to do is use those good marketing skills that you got. And we're going to rank on Google in a specific city emergency response training and let's see if we can find a city let's see new york there we go preparedness i guess that's the keyword that people are searching so we got atlanta you guys can see maryland right here we got maryland so if you rank on the first page of google for this or put up an ad you can even put up a paid ad like these guys right here and then you can recommend people download or pay a, a, a monthly subscription to your tool or whatever. Or you can train them how to use it in addition to their training and everything like that. How to better their training based off of AI recommendations and everything. Right. Maybe things that they haven't considered because we are humans and we're not perfect. Right. OK, guys. So what do y'all think? Go back and watch part one, part two. And now you have part three. These are all three different niches that you can go and make a lot of money building these custom GPTs and, you know, like like go ahead and promote them as a service. All right. Tell me what y'all think in the comments.